All right, next up is the Houston Rockets offseason breakdown. Very, very quick recap. 17.55 missed the playoffs. John Wall was a terrible trade. Uh, traded Harden, traded Westbrook, traded everyone. Terrible season. Christian Wood got hurt. Yeah, there, there's nothing good about their season last year. I felt bad for Steven Silas. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> looking forward into the offseason acquisitions. They had a lot of draft picks. Jalen Green, second overall pick. Alperen Sangoon, 16th pick. Usman Garuba, 23rd pick. And Josh Christopher, the 24th pick. And then they signed Daniel Tice. Uh, yeah. So not, a lot of draft picks. And they didn't sign really anyone. Uh, my biggest question for them, can they improve? Uh, I think that they can. Uh, their over-under is 24 and a half. I think this is over by a lot, actually. I don't think this is the worst team in the West. I don't think it's the second or third worst team in the West. Um, I loved the Kevin Porter trade that they made last year, taking a real flyer on him, and it worked because he is a baller. Him and Jalen Green in the backcourt can give a defenses hell some nights. They're not going to play any defense, but they're going to drop close to 50 on any team if they wanted to. And then when they get Christian Wood back, he is at least a 15-15 guy every night. And then Eric Gordon's coming back. They have a decent bench. Uh, Daniel House is coming back. They got DJ Augenstein. Uh, Kenyon Martin Jr. had a really surprising year last year as a second-round pick. He's off the bench. Daniel Tice off the bench as a backup. And then Deshaun Tate, too. This isn't a bad team. So 24 and a half wins seems very low, especially if this team can stay healthy. Again, it's on Christian Wood, too, because with Christian Wood last year, they were like 500. And without him, they had the worst record in the NBA. So I think that's huge. Um, John Wall won't play for this team. They're trying to trade for him. They're trying to trade him away. So maybe if they do trade him, they can get some pieces back that could help this team in the future. But really... I, I think Jalen Green is probably the second in line to win Rookie of the Year behind Evan Mobley. Uh, I think Jalen Green's going to have a great year. I expect him to average close to 20. Same with Kevin Porter Jr. This is a great backcourt, and they have a good bench. Steven Silas can coach. It, he wasn't able to show that last year because it was just a very just off year for Houston. It's just, can Eric Gordon stay healthy and can Christian Wood stay healthy? They can improve. They can be a... 30-win team, I think, easily. Are they going to make the play-in game? No, they're not talented enough yet. They need to, you know, sure up that front line a little bit more, get a better, get some better wings. But I think this is a good start for a really good rebuild. I think in two years, if they can keep Kevin Porter Jr. on the right tra trajectory, and it's the same as Jalen Green, this is a really good backcourt for years to come that can give the West elites in the future, like Denver, Dallas, Etc. some trouble. So I think this is a good off season. They're not going to do much this season, but there is hope for the future. Uh, that will be it. Next episode will be the San Antonio Spurs off season breakdown and season outlook. Thank you for listening.